This question or this type of question has come up in nearly every single set of specimen exam papers and past papers that I've seen. So it is an essential skill for you to learn. And it's not that hard. I know it looks intimidating, but it's actually not that bad. If you want um, a picture for yourself, if you want all the graphs involved, if you want early access to all of the videos, then you can get that by my book. Here I want you to find the equation of the tangent, this line here. Now we know a few things, we know the centre of the circle is 0, 0, we know this point here is 5, 3, and we know the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared equals 34. Now what we can do is to find the equation of this line here. And we can do that by turning into a mini triangle. I like sketching it out just because it helps me visualise it. So that point is 0, 0. Then we have 5 minus 3. We have changed minus 3 in that direction and 5 in that direction. Now we know m is our gradient and that is going to be up over across. So here that is minus 3 over 5. Now we know when we have perpendicular lines, this line and this line are perpendicular. That's their gradients multiply, so gradient of one line times gradient of tangent and multiply to give us minus 1. So we have our gradient of the circle which is minus 3 over 5 times the gradient of the tangent equals minus 1. So the gradient of tangent is going to be minus 1 over minus 3 over 5 giving us 5 over 3 as our gradient for the tangent. Now we know the equation for a circle is y equals mx plus c, sorry, the gradient for a straight line. And we know lots of this information already. So y equals 5 over 3x plus c, 5 over 3 being the gradient that we've just worked out over here. We know our x and our y because we have um, a set of values here. So we can say y equals 5 over 3x plus c. We can pop in our y value, which is minus 3, our gradient, and our x value. We can multiply that out, so we have minus 3 equals um, 25 over 3 plus c. Take the 25 um, over 3 over to the other side, and what we end up with is minus 34 over 3 equals c. So we can say our gradient, our equation of the straight line is y equals 5 over 3 x plus minus 34 over 3. Now I know this seems like a slightly strange way of writing it but this is just the way that I've seen that the examples prefer to write it. They prefer for you to keep things as fractions.